The city of Cincinnati is ordering the owner of the blighted Crossley building to board up, fix up, or tear it down. If not, the city will do it and send him the bill. All parties say they can afford it, but Nine News reporter Scott Wagoner talked to one man who has a solution. It's a building between a rock and a hard place. The city does not have any money to renovate the building. The owner does not have any money to renovate the building. The 83-year-old Crosley building in Camp Washington has gone from industrial jewel to neighborhood bane, swathed in shattered windows, peeling paint and graffiti. So much so, the city has condemned the property, intends to barricade the building, paint over the graffiti, and charge the owner. It's just sad to see it just being sit there and not being used. Owen Bell lives next to the ramshackle ruin. He wants to see businesses move in and provide much needed jobs. I, I would work there. If they had a job there, I mean, look how close it is. Unfortunately, rehabbing the structure could run upwards of $26 million. With no available parking, such an investment seems unlikely. The owner, Todd Jose, told me today he's tried to secure the building. He says he's constantly thwarted by vandals who are determined to make it their own personal canvas. It's the pain on the mall. Yeah. The yeah. answer to the blight may come from a man who wears Cincinnati head to toe. Well, our work seems to actually brighten everybody's day. His idea, if you can't beat them, draft them. So people actually took some time and would put something on the walls that's worth looking at that people would actually consider art, then it probably wouldn't be so bad. Joe Gorman with the Camp Washington Community Council seems surprised by the suggestion, but thinks the idea may be just crazy enough to work. I think in some kind of a, a structured fashion, that might be a pretty good idea. Scott Wegener, 9 News, since.